okay welcome to today's autodesk inventors class so we are going to be producing this particular article today then i'm going to want you to give it absolute attention because i am going to make use of some modified tools and some constraints yeah and it's going to actually help you a lot all right so i am producing this particular object and this is my working environment all right so the next thing is what start a 2d sketch remember this particular article you want to produce is a part drawing yeah it's a part drawing all right it is part of a machine drawing okay so i'm going to pick any suitable plane so i pick this xy plane all right so having a good look at the bottom part here right there are several techniques which you can actually make use of here yeah so before you can actually use autodesk inventor you need to have an in-depth knowledge of the basics of orthographic projection yeah it is going to actually help you a lot along the line here all right so at this particular object i can deduce up to three or four means yeah to actually produce this article but i am going to actually go for the simplest which i think is going to be very very okay for me all right so just watch as i am doing it all right so look at the dimension here look at the dimension here from the midpoint thing towards the left here and towards the right is what 30 30 but the arc here the radius of this arc is what 15 so i'm going to add this 15 to the 30 here that's what 45 towards this area 45 towards this area and that's what 90 and the thickness of the web here, of this particular material here is what is six millimeters is six millimeters so take note of what i'm going to do now i pick a triangle i'm producing I, mean, I pick a rectangle okay so the width of that rectangle is what 90 while the height is what is six all right then i press what enter so that's my triangle all right i mean sorry that's my rectangle all right so i'm going to ensure this rectangle is sitting at the midpoint of the origin here yeah at the midpoint of the origin here because this is actually going to help me by the time i'm going to uh split plane mirror and the rest so this object must sit at the center so how do i do that okay you know in our basics of technical drawing we have this line we call what we call uh thin sorry this hidden line yeah we call it hidden line we call it hidden line so this thin line so that's what i'm going to apply here okay so then i'm doing that now okay so having that line i'm going to use my symmetric constraint now i'm going to use my symmetric constraint okay you can see it's sitting at the midpoint then also i want this particular horizontal part to lay on the base here so how do i do that i'm going to use my coincident constraint there yeah, yeah so i picked it then i come here you can see perfect all right perfect so the next thing to do is this taking a look at the picture the first semicircle here is radius what 18 why the second one is what radius 12 so i'm going to do that now so how do i do that 18 divided 18 times 2 is what 36 yeah you ask me what's happening here because this command is still on for hidden line so i need to switch off that command of the ending line so i'm having a what a bold line there now i'm having a bold line there right so then the second also that is what 12 times 2 is what 24 all right 24 so then i'm going to make use of my what my trim command my trim command i'm going to make use of my trim command so i don't need this part 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 i don't need this 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 then i don't need this all right so that's what i'm left with this is all i need all right for the base over there so after that the next thing is this taking a look at the picture so the circle here i'm having a circle of diameter 12 and diameter 20 so i'm going to do that now circle of diameter 12 and 20 diameter 12 
in diameter what 20 all right so having that now having that now so then i was told that the distance between from the center of the circle at the top here yeah to my base here is what is 44 so i need to do that now i'm going to put the distance and that's what 44 all right so position there so take a look at this this line connects is from the midpoint here down to the bottom over there i'm going to do that now all right okay set to so i'm going to actually check whether this line is what whether it is tangential to this circle so i'm going to pick my tangential constraint pick the circle pick the line you see pick the circle pick the line all right so then i am good to go so the next thing is what i'm going to click my what finish sketch all right so after clicking my finish sketch so as we said earlier on this particular area is radius 15 15 times 2 is what 30 so i'm going to extrude this bottom part yeah take a look at this now so what is the issue here the issue here is that there is a loophole here so there is a loop here so you might actually come across this in your inventor drawings yeah there is a loop over there so how do i correct this so i need to go back to sketch and ensure that all the lines here what are properly what closed all right like this one this one is ready to be extruded this is ready to be extruded so i need to ensure that there is no gap in between the lines here there is actually a breakage here all right that is why i'm having this problem so i need to go back to my sketch so how do i do that i come back here i, I come back here then I was I edit sketch. I edit sketch after editing my sketch. So how do I go about that? So I'm going to actually have a very good look. Let me check this particular area first of all. Okay. Okay. This area. I'm going to check it very well. Okay. What is actually wrong here? Okay, that's it. Using my coincident constraint over there. All right. So then also this area, I picked my coincident constraint. All right. Okay. So let me finish sketch and have a look right now. All right, you can see. So it is because of the gap I'm having here. All right, so I've corrected that now. So I'm going to extrude this towards 30 outside here. 30. So after extruding to 30, yeah, the old sketch actually disappears. Don't worry, you can actually recall the sketch back by coming down here and doing what? Shear sketch. All right. So after doing that, I'm going to extrude this area. This area is the thickness is uh six. All right. So I'm going to extrude this one also towards that part, writing what six. All right. So see what is actually showing. So I'm going to actually pick this joint. All right. So I did that. Then it gives me the solid. I okay it. Then also I'm going to extrude the top here. The top here is actually uh 17. Yeah, is actually 17. All right. So then I'm going to do that now. So 17. All right. So the same thing then i'm going to press my watch my okay all right so that's been done so the next procedure is to get the radio so i'm going to use the fillet command now the fillet picking my fillet since the radius here are what 15 i'm going to type in what 15 here after typing in the 15 then i'm going to what apply it to the what to the four edges i'm going to apply it to the four edges I'm going to apply it to the four edges then i'm going to click what okay so it's we are almost done yes or no all right so i need to actually place the circle all right so i'm going to click on one particular view here all right click on create sketch all right then i'm going to actually produce the circle so you are told that the circle on it is what two holes of diameter 12 all right two holes of diameter 12 so i'm going to actually uh place this circle there diameter 12 all right so this circle is not central so i need to ensure it is actually what centered all right so here is what 15 
then this to this so it's going to be what because it must be concentric i'm going to put what zero all right okay so it's okay as it is over then i'm going to what finish my sketch so i'm going to make a hole there now i'm going to click on extrude click on this particular portion then i'm going to click on what uh cut by the time i click on cut this stance i'm going to say all all right so then i'm going to click ok so i already have the hole here so instead of giving myself uh the unnecessary problem of trying to create another sketch here all i'm going to do is i'm going to mirror this hole here down here so i'm going to teach you how to use the mirror command right now so just take note all right so uh i'm going to click the what the mirror command this is the mirror command i've clicked the mirror command so feature yeah here's the feature this is the feature it's going to ask for mirror plane so i pick mirror plane i come to my origin here all right so taking a look at this bar my mirror plane should be i'm coming let me confirm that yeah i should be working on the yz plane yeah yz plane all right that's it yz plane so then you can see it's already there i'm going to press what okay that's it so i've made a replica of the whole there so then the last aspect yeah not the last the second to the last aspect so is to put the web yeah the web we have there all right so how i'm going to do that i'm going to click on this same yz plane all right so i'm going to click on the create sketch there so automatically see i'm going to click on the icon there you can see so then the next thing is so i want to give yourself a problem click on project cut edges you can see it gives me a yellow so anywhere my saw that plane i picked earlier on act as a saw so it cuts through the middle so so as to close those cutting plane i click on what project cut edges so all i'm going to do is just pick my line from here at the edge there then down to the edge here then i'm going to click my watch finish sketch after i've done that i'm going to pick my what extrude place it there then the thickness is six then it must be at the center so i'm going to pick this so it's going to make it what equal then i'm going to click work okay so you are going to say the work is actually done now but that's not it if you will take a look at this aspect yeah take a look at this particular aspect i'm going to zoom it out for you guys to see take a look at this aspect so you will see that you will see that this particular area is not uh lapping very well it's not lapping very well all right then it ought not to be so it ought not to be so it must actually flush yeah the edge and the edge must actually flush so how do we do that i'm going to teach you how to do that so i'm going to click on this particular plane here the first part here after clicking i'm going to click on what create sketch after clicking on create sketch so uh the next thing sorry i don't have a mouse so i'm using my laptop uh mouse all right so the next thing is come back there all right click on uh project geometry and pick that particular plane all right after picking that particular plane you come to this 3d model area you pick on extrude after picking on extrude you pick to next after picking to next that's it all right over there to next then i'm going to press what okay as you can see already closed can you see so i'm going to do the same thing to the other side here i'm going to do the same thing to the other side here all right so i'm going to do the same thing to the other side here and i'm going to zoom it out also you can see so i'm going to do the same thing here also i'm going to click on that particular area i'm going to click on what create sketch after clicking on create sketch i need to get that exact area properly okay i project geometry i pick that area then i pick on my 3d model extrude picking my extrude i pick that portion i pick to next then i'm going to press my what okay 
so you can see so i'm having a perfect uh object now i'm having a perfect object now so i can remove all the dimensions how do i remove the dimensions so i'm going to just click on the sketch here yeah visibility then that's all all right so i can add several designs to you so as to make it uh something real i can come down here uh make use of let me make use of uh might steel or cast iron let me make use of cast iron okay make use of cast iron as you can see that's it all right so then you can come to the view and do some alteration to make it realistic all right you can see so that is that about that so before you actually log out can kindly subscribe uh to my youtube channel so where you're actually watching this video and also refer your friends to uh this particular youtube page thank you